Hey everybody, it's been a couple months. It's been a crazy couple of months. So uh, we got a new house and that means I get a bigger garage. But the problem with this garage is, you can tell there is a decent slope there as it follows down here. So in this entire garage, there's about a three inch slope so what I am going to do is build basically like a, a uh, bathtub with a frame of wood and a bottom and then I've got some heavy duty plastic that I'm going to put inside and then I'm going to use this ton of sand to level it out. It'll be about three inches on one side and taper up as it gets uh, towards this wall here. So um, I thought I would share this with you. I have not seen anybody do this type of uh, leveling out of a platform before. So uh, my only other options were to get a whole bunch of boards, cut them at an angle and uh, level it out that way. Um, with how long it is, it was just gonna be a pain the other option I considered was pouring some concrete, make it a level slab in here of concrete. If we ever sold, we would have to chip that out and that would kind of be a pain. So I thought sand, <laughs> this could be a total failure or a total success. So <laughs> let's see what happens. Okay, so here's the rough outline of basically the bathtub of this. <clears throat> I'm going to screw it all together and then cover it with the plastic. So here we go. Okay guys, what I wanted to do was show you how I attached the 2x4 to the bottom piece of wood um, with the screws. What I used was this, uh, these two and a half inch long wood screws. Um, and instead of going at it directly into the side, um, I angled it to get it a little bit more purchase, a little bit more strength to it. Um, I should have probably gotten three inch long screws. Um, this is what it looks like with a three and a half inch. Um, could have had a little bit more angle to it, even more purchase. Um, maybe be better in the long run. So far, so good. It is working. So um, anyway, I use these two and a half inch long screws at an angle, and it kind of inset into some, uh, very close to this type of angle. Um, gave it a little bit more purchase down here, and yeah. So that's what I'm doing. All right, thanks. So there's a jug in my concrete here and I can't get my drill in between there now to make the, to screw it in. I'm gonna have to try and move this whole thing over and then back. Fun. That was heavy. So, Pacific Northwest, super humid. It's not hot outside, well, it's just humid. But, I'm just drenched. All right, let's get these last couple boards in. Okay, so I made a couple marks on the ground. I'm gonna try and scoot this whole thing over um, and get it off the walls from the uh, backside there and the sidewall um, and then finish up putting the uh, framing together down here at the end. Got to move this beast. Okay, that's a little heavy. 
Gonna finish up this. I noticed walking on it that that corner didn't really get tied down too well. It should be okay. There's not gonna be too much sand up there. I might just throw a board, my leftover board over the, over the, over the top before I put the plastic down. We'll see how that works. All right, finish up this last side. All right, my bathtub is built. Time to uh, put the plastic on. <laughs> That's the next step. All right, here we go. Got a little bit of wood left. I think I'm just going to add a little bit of bracing to the bottom since this is where all the weight is going to be. But I'm not sure if I need it, just using it. So, probably just cut it into little chunks like this, lay it flat, um, and then screw it in on the ends, on the ends here, and then. Uh, angled it through there, through the bottom. Okay, so having moved, I haven't charged up all my batteries, so I'm trying to charge them as I go. Bathtub's ready, ready for the sand. Um, this is the interesting part. So I have to try and pour it in and level it, get it up to a certain level, and then keep it level the entire way. Um, let's see what happens. Here we go. So I got 42 bags based on my calculations. That's 2,100 pounds of sand. <laughs> like I said, this is either going to be really awesome or suck really bad. So I'm going to turn the camera off now, um, turn the fan on, and I just don't want all the dust blowing right at the camera. I'll come back when I think I've got it done. All right. Okay, so far everything with the test board is going well. I laid it on there, everything was level, side to side, up and down, that's good, but I think I'm gonna sort it on this end. This is the side that the squat rack is gonna be on, so it's a little bit heavier board up there. So I think I'm gonna level that one out and that will allow me to get the rest of this level um, and keep that same top. So it's coming along. We have about 10 feet done, eight feet left to go. Sand is already kind of there, so it's just a matter of getting it level and, uh, and making sure everything's level. So it feels very sturdy. Actually, it might help with any dropping of the weight, deadening the sound. Um, but <clears throat> that'll focus in there. Close enough for government work. All right. There. Eh. Anyway, there we go. Level. All right. On to the last eight feet. 
and I'll probably end up using all the bags. Guess my math is sound. All right, onwards. Hey guys, this is gonna do it for this video, I think. Uh, I've got the whole base down. It is fully level. Um, you can see it's uh, it's quite low on this side inside of the frame and then this side of the frame it's right at the top. So got a good slope. Um, it feels really good. It feels really solid. Um, the one thing so the one thing about sand is that it doesn't compress, it already is compressed. So the only thing it can do is shift around. And so over time, uh, any spots that um, had a pocket, it should settle out and uh, become more level. I'm hoping um, people smarter <laughs> out there than me can correct me, please do. Um, next time we are going to fold the plastic over and do some other stuff. All right, talk to you guys later. See ya.